Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to introduce you to Portals for Office 365, or Portals for short. This application has been designed to offer enhanced workflows for accessing multiple accounts across multiple Office 365 tenants, allowing for simplification of administration tasks and accessing the broader set of applications within Office 365. In this first section, we will run through the features and settings of the main launcher window. The main application interface for portals is a launcher window that displays all of the accounts available to you. Each account is uniquely identified by an email address, and each account will contain a number of portals that offer access to various applications within Office 365. There are two main types of accounts within portals, a regular account and a guest account. The regular account offers access to all Office 365 portals, and the guest account is specifically for accessing Teams guest accounts. You will see under your Teams guest account that there is only one button for accessing Teams within a specific guest organization. This allows you to have your home tenant and guest tenant open in different windows at the same time. To add an account, click on the Add Account button. You will need to specify a unique email address for the account, which should be easy as this is the email address you use to log into Office 365. Next, you will need to specify a tenant name. If you are adding a full Office 365 account with access to all portals, then the tenant name will be related to the tenant or organization name of your specific Office 365 tenant. The tenant name can be found as part of your SharePoint and OneDrive URLs and is required for these websites to be accessed correctly within portals. If you are creating a Teams guest account, i.e. you are ticking the Teams guest account option, this can just be the name of the partner organization for which you are accessing. Tick the Teams guest account checkbox if you want to add a Teams guest account only. Once you have added an account, you will see the default portals shown under the account name. If you want to change the configuration of these portals, you can click the edit button at the top of the launcher window. This will allow you to edit all components of the launcher window. You can choose to add and remove portals from the list depending on your usage scenario. There are currently 35 portals available with more being added later. To add a portal, simply click the edit button at the top of the main window and then click the add portal button. To remove a portal, simply click the X on the portal button whilst in edit mode. You can choose to change the order that the portals appear by simply dragging and dropping them to a new location. Accounts can also be moved up and down using the up and down arrows. The account preferences button shows you settings for each account. These include tenant name, toast settings for both messages and calling. If you no longer want an account, you can delete it by using the delete account button. Once you're finished moving and editing all of your accounts, you exit edit mode by clicking the finish button. The main launcher window also has a global preferences button, which allows you to change global preferences within the application. Now that our accounts are all set up, let's launch a portal and see how it works. I will open up the Teams portal for two separate users. John Woods and Bob Kelly are completely separate user accounts, and each in this case have to sign in via ADFS. Once signed in, the app gets separate sign-in tokens, which it will store for each of the separate accounts. The application does not store any passwords directly, and sign-in tokens are encrypted before being written to disk using a large randomized key and AES-256 encryption. You will see that I've successfully logged into two separate accounts at the same time. These users can now send text messages, take part in Teams conversations, conferences, and even receive and make PSTN calls. Toast windows will pop up when messages and calls are received. If you click the Toast window, then the window for that account will be displayed. Now that we have signed into Office 365 and have been issued access tokens, we can access any of the other portals for a user without needing to log in again. Let's open Outlook for John Woods and see how authentication is bypassed. 
In the launcher, you can see that John Woods also has a Teams guest account. We can log into that account at the same time as the home account by launching the guest Teams portal. This account is running as part of a different session, so it will need to be logged in again. Once you have logged in, you can open the partner Teams site at the same time as still running your home tenant in another window. The portal's browser window offers the following features. Back and forward navigation buttons with right click to display browsing history. A downloads button which will display all downloads made by that window. A find text feature which offers full text search across any web page. A delete session cookies option which can be used in the case that you want to remove all session history for that account. Right clicking on links will give you additional options such as open in a new portals window, opening an external browser or to copy the link. Thanks for watching this tour of portals for Office 365. I hope you found this video useful and enjoy using the app. If you haven't yet downloaded the app, go to tryportals.com. Thanks for watching and see you again next time.